I'm Peter Bregan. I'm a psychiatrist and I have a clinical practice. I'm also a clinical psychopharmacologist, which means that I've done a lot of research and a lot of work and a lot of consultations in the area of adverse drug effects. Then written 20 books, many of which are about depression and about drugs. My colleagues have it all backward in psychiatry. They think it begins with a biochemical imbalance in the brain. But actually, when you get to know people who are depressed, they have depressing lives. They're stuck in marriages they don't want, or they're stuck in jobs they don't want, or they haven't resolved terrible problems from childhood. Many, many people who have these long-term depressions they can't escape from, can't escape from their childhood. And those are the cases probably the most that need some sort of intensive counseling. But the contest is not between drugs and counseling, between uh, Prozac and Peter Bregan's therapy. The contest is between drugs and life, all of life. When you take a drug, it dulls your spirits or it gives you an artificial high. That's about all the antidepressants can do. So you get a little elated for a while, but that's fake. That's biochemical. That's got nothing to do with life. Or you get anesthetized. You get apathetic. You don't feel your pain as much. You've been anesthetized spiritually. You end up locked into place where you were before because your creative energies, your choices, they're not there anymore. And on top of it, because your neurotransmitters have been disrupted, you can't quite think with the same sharpness and the same feeling that you used to have. Unlike a lot of other things in psychiatry, depression is among the easiest to treat. The single most important thing in helping somebody who's depressed is for you not to be depressed. Now that's a tough standard for a lot of psychiatrists because what are they doing to their patients? They're drugging them, they're diagnosing them, they're not really involved with them and caring about them. Most psychiatrists have depressing lives. You go to the psychiatrist and you say, I feel hopeless and helpless. And the doctor says, in effect, well, yes, you are. You're controlled by your biochemicals. How depressing. I mean, for a moment, it might feel better, like, oh, I don't have to do the work of facing my life. But in the long run, the worst message you can give a human being is to tell them their psychological and spiritual problems or biochemical disorders or diseases because it disempowers them. They don't know where to look. They don't know what conflicts to even deal with. 